So when we want to look at the inside of the building, I know we have been doing this where we've gone ahead and you know kind of hit the hit the floor part and kind of looked inside. But generally that's not what we do in to describe an architectural plan. In architectural plan, we do this thing called section, okay? And floor plans. Okay, so definition of a floor plan is a basically a cut, a horizontal cut four feet above the finished floor looking down. Okay, four feet is basically a guideline, just standard practice. Sometimes it's a little bit more, sometimes it's a little bit less, depending on what you want to describe. But the idea is to get uh, a cut four feet at the finished floor line. Finished floor lines mean it's like this floor right here. We are on the second floor, right? If we're on the first floor and we said we just need to be four foot above, then all you have to do is take a tape measure and measure, right? But we on the second floor, if we say we need to see a floor plan on the second floor, if we took the this uh, section cup from the from the first floor, it won't work because we're just seeing the first floor. We have this building is about 15 foot floor plate, which means that this floor is about 15 feet above the ground. So that means we we add four feet to that. So from the ground, it would be 19 feet of cut or 19 feet elevation looking down. Okay, but generally, if you remember, that is the finished floor, like the carpet, tile, whatever, of the floor that you're on, four feet above, looking down. Okay, so how to express that in Rhino? We have a command, a new command. It is called clipping plane. Clipping plane. Okay, when you hit that, it's going to ask, where do you want this clipping plane? Let's just make it on the ground for now. So just anywhere, somewhere close to your object, make this little square and then click. Notice that everything disappeared, right? Okay, if we look at this thing, uh, notice that little bar right there. Think of that as an arrow or the eyeball direction. Okay, so this is looking at this plane and it's pointing down. If I move this up using the gumball or you could use whatever you want, but gumball, let's, how high was a plinth? Yes, correct. How'd you guess? <laughs> Three feet up. Now, when we look at this thing, notice that it's right at the bottom of that wall that we made, right? What was the definition of floor plan? Four feet above the finish floor. So if we take this thing and move that four feet up, there we go. And what was the other part about looking down, right? So that means that we probably have to go to the top view. So this guy right here, oh no, this isn't showing on the top view. Okay, for that, hold on. For that, we go to the properties and notice that in the property, I have the clipping plane, uh, highlighted and showing in the perspective views only. If I click on the top view, then it will show on the on the top view. It doesn't really matter on the front and right because it is not um, not the view, but if we do that, it's going to chop its head off, right? And basically that's what the floor plan is. If the floor plan is this view right here. It is cutting through the window that we made because the window sill is three feet high, right? So we're seeing the top of the windows, we're seeing the wall close through, and the door is seven feet high, so we cut all that through. Okay, so that is your clipping plane for the uh, floor plan. Now, um, I'm gonna erase this right here and try something else. That way, that way, we should be able to to redo this. <laughs> okay. So that is your floor. We did the floor plan. Now, what is another view of the building? 
it is called a section. Section is a vertical slice through a building looking uh, from, the, from the opening to the back of the wall. Okay, so if we do a clipping plane, clipping plane, and we could go on the front view or the right view or on the ground. Let's first go on the front view and do this. Nothing's happening because the clipping plane is way out on the C plane. Basically, the clipping plane is drawn either where the axial point is. So it drew it on the red axis. So if I take this thing and drag it out, drag it through, and at a certain point, it's going to start to slice through your building. Okay. Also, we could have maybe made the clipping plane on the right view, which means that if you pay attention to this view right here, clipping plane, and we made it on the right view, notice that nothing is showing up. If we drag this back, eventually we'll see that cut. Okay. Likewise, if I delete that, I could have just made this thing in the uh, perspective view. Clipping plane, and then I know I can't go up or down or whatever, so I'll just do this. And if I use the gumball, I should be able to use my green or red arrow or red arc and say 90 degrees. Right, 90 degree, which way is the arrow pointing? This way. Now I should be able to just kind of find my way through. Okay, so in this way you could, you could set the clipping plane almost anywhere. Also, if you look at the clipping plane right here, it says flip. Flip direction, you could turn it 180 degrees. You could have used the gumball, but this might be easier if I flip it. Now it's looking towards the other direction, right? Also in the right view and the left view, make sure that those are on. So now I should be able to see this thing um, from the other way. So this thing right here, if I flip it, that's the section cut right there. Remember last, last week we made it so that we show the inside as a different color? The back face, right? So that is for me to easily understand what's inside and what's the surface. And that's the part that I'm cutting through.